Hello friends, how are you? Hope you're well and you've had a good, weekend, good week and that your weekend's been good as well. I'm here today to do a review of Sarah Morgan's latest book, A Wedding in December. I have to say, first of all, the artwork on this is beautiful. The cover is just absolutely stunning. I hope you can see that okay. Um, I really loved, you know, all the cover of it. It was just so, so nice. I flew through this. I think this took me two days to read and there's, it's not a chunker chunker, but um, hold on till I find, because there's a the start of the next one. Um, there's 409 pages in this and I just have to say it was gorgeous. And then you see the inside as well. You've got, isn't that just beautiful? Um, and then is it the same? No, the back's not the same. This story, I'm going to put the synopsis up for you there. I just think it's the easiest way for you to just to read it and see what it's about. <clears throat> and as I say, this story is about the White family. They're going to Aspen, Colorado for their youngest daughter's wedding, which is a surprise to them all. I think even to the youngest daughter, it's a surprise that she's getting married. And she, the youngest daughter has always been the one in the family that's had, shall we say, problems health-wise. And her older sister feels very protective of her. Her mum and dad feel protective of both of them. But maybe the younger sister tends to lean more on her older sister. The older sister's very much worried that the younger sister's making a mistake. And when you, as you get to know the family, you realize that they're all hiding secrets. And these secrets are not prejudicing their, their thoughts about the marriage, or maybe they are, but it's like they don't know how to deal with them. And this book is not only about Aspen, Colorado and the people they meet there, but it's also about them and how they come to terms with the secrets that they're carrying, how they go about dealing with those and the resolutions that can happen. Characters were really, really engaging. I loved the characters. The setting was just stunning. You actually felt you were being transported there. It was fantastic. This plot line was good. I really enjoyed it. And I have to say, I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. I don't want to see any more because I really don't like giving spoilers and reviews because I, I don't think that's fair. Or for me personally, I don't think it's fair. I think I would rather sort of be kind of general and let you go and read it and make up your own mind of what you think about it and what the story has for you. But it's a story about family love, family secrets, how things that happen in your youth and your childhood can still have an effect on you as an adult and also how th things that happen to you as an adult will have a, keep having an effect until you actually turn around and face them. I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend this book. I would say to you go out, buy it, and curl up on, on a comfy chair with a cup of hot chocolate or whatever your favourite drink is, a cookie or a piece of cake, the fire going, candles flickering, and just immerse yourself in this. It's one of these books that you can read now, or if you wanted like a full, shall we say, December atmosphere, wait till you get your Christmas tree up and the lights going and everything, and then go get this book. I would so recommend it. If you're looking for a book, for someone for Christmas, or if you're doing like um, the seasons of reading Christmas readathon, this this I would say put in the TBR. Seriously, put this in the TBR. It was so 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 enjoyable. So, for those of you that don't know, I'm Fiona from Reads and Eats. I am a member of the Sarah Morgan UK review review crew, and we are sent these books free of charge in return for an honest review. And I've been totally honest in this in this review. I loved the book and would definitely, definitely recommend it. 
If you've enjoyed this review, please let me know down below. If you want to read this book or you've read this book, let me know down in the comments and we can have a chit chat about it. Give this book a thumb, this review a thumbs up and I'll see you soon friends. Bye.